Well, hey guys, welcome to Skincare with Chris. I am your skincare expert. I'm here to help you get your best skin ever. On this channel, we talk about skincare products, skincare routines, and we help you get skin care solved. So if that's your thing, please hit the subscription button and the little notification bell so that you get notified when my new videos are up each week. Okay, so dark spots, dark patches, uneven complexion, it's a big problem. One that I've talked about on this channel before. But today I'm gonna to give you the top three products that I found that will actually make a difference in this problem for you. And it's interesting because they're not products that I've really talked about or reviewed before. However, they have the ingredients that I know will do the job. And we've tested a couple of these out. And in fact, all three of these passed a huge test of being tested among a hundred different people and voted on for results. These are the three that came back showing the best results for the most people. So I'm really excited to share this information with you today because I do know that dark spots, age spots, acne marks, melasma, all of those type of things are a big problem. And we even have that issue under arms, on elbows, on knuckles, on knees. And one of these products is actually designed to help with dark patches on other areas of the body. So yeah, this is a big deal. I'm really excited to be talking about this today. Now, another really important thing that I wanna bring up today is this is not a sponsored video. None of the products that I'm gonna talk about have sponsored or paid me to give you this advice. And I will link to these three products down in the video description box. So you don't need to write them down. You can just pay attention to the video. Also, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time going into what creates these dark patches and dark spots. I did do a video on that subject already. You can catch it on this video, and I will link to that at the end of this video today so that you can see how those things form and what you can do to maybe kind of prohibit or inhibit them from showing up. I also wanna take a quick moment here to thank you guys who've been subscribing. The channel is growing really quickly. I really, really appreciate your support. You guys are crazy. I just love it that we're growing so fast. I also wanna thank you guys that went and took the poll that was on the channel. So if you're not subscribed, then you didn't see the poll. So that's another good reason to join us here on the channel. Now, for those of you that already follow me, you've heard me say this a million times, it is really all about ingredients and effectiveness of a product with me. It is not about the brand name or the price necessarily. Although sometimes things are priced way out of range and what they should be. But it really does come down to three ingredients that you need to look for when you're looking for a product that's going to actually fade dark spots, help prevent them from coming back and help soothe and exfoliate the skin. So there's this product ingredient mix that you really need to look for in most products. Now, a lot of what I'm gonna talk about today is about acids. And I know a lot of you have sensitive skin issues and sensitive skin issues, you can't use a lot of acids, AHAs, BHAs, uh, kojic acid, some of the things I'm gonna talk about may be a problem for you, but stick around anyway, because I'm gonna give you a product that doesn't use those, but still lightens the skin. It comes from Tokyo, Japan. It's a completely different formulation mix, but it's getting a lot of rave reviews and doing a lot of good for a lot of people who can't use these other products. So the first ingredient that you really need to look for in a skin product that's going to work for dark spots and marks is niacinamide. And that is an ingredient that I talk about on this channel almost, it seems like incessantly, but it is such a great ingredient. It's vitamin B3. So it's a derivative of niacin. And what it helps to do is it helps to soothe the skin's inflammation. Inflammation does spark more melanin production in your skin. That's why after people have acne breakouts or they've had some sort of damage to the skin, oftentimes a darker area or mark is left behind because as the skin heals, it produces more melanin as it's producing more collagen and more tissue. So niacinamide helps soothe that inflammation, helps reduce that, it helps disperse the melanin production that's going on and helps keep you from getting more dark spots. The next ingredient to look for is kojic acid. And kojic acid is a very, interesting plant-based antioxidant. It has the effect of lightening skin cells that have too much melanin in them without changing the percentage of melanin in the actual cells that surround it. So it's sort of a normalizing acid. It's a very, very good exfoliator. It's very good at breaking up that melanin that has been trapped in the skin cells. So it's a very, very good ingredient. It's one of the main things that you need to look for in any skin lightening product. The other thing that you wanna look for in these formulations is that they are made with water and glycerin and ceteral, ceteral olivate. God, that's a hard word to say. 
Why are scientific names for skincare ingredients so shitty? They're just shitty. But anyway, that's what it is. And also help trap moisture down in the skin to reduce moisture loss throughout the day. So moisturized skin is healthy skin, much more or less likely to produce or overproduce melanin in those patches. So these three ingredients or this ingredient mix is a great thing to look for when you're looking at products, no matter what the brand name is and no matter what the price. The other thing that I wanna say here about skin lightening products or age spot defying products or whatever they wanna call these is that you have to sort of be buyer beware because there are a lot of promises that really kind of cross the line when it comes to these products. Anything you do to your skin that's gonna lighten the skin or even the skin tone is not gonna happen overnight. The closest thing to that that you could probably get would be some sort of chemical skin peel. That would be the thing that would probably give you some sort of difference overnight and even then the skin's gonna have to heal. These products are designed to help your skin produce new cells that are healthy and of the same texture and color as the other surrounding cells. So it's gonna take some time for that exfoliation process to actually take place. So I really wanna point that out. It's gonna make me very unpopular with a lot of you, but I'm sorry. I wanna tell you the truth. That's what I'm here for. You don't look for results overnight with skin lightening products. However, they will work in time. And generally within about two weeks, you should see a pretty good improvement. Like all things that I like to do, I like to take a picture before I start something and take a picture two weeks later and judge the pictures side by side to see what a difference that has made for my skin. You really just can't beat a picture. What is it, a picture? A picture says a thousand, no, a picture tells a thousand, no. A picture's worth a thousand words. There we go. A picture's worth a thousand words. Now, another thing I wanna share in this video is that you need to stay away from an ingredient called hydroquinine or hydroquinone. The reason is it's very easy to not see that ingredient because it looks like hyaluronic. When you look at the ingredient list, you can get the two mixed up. This particular chemical ingredient is very harsh and it actually can spark discoloration, hyperpigmentation and skin damage in certain people, especially if you are darker complected. So it is an ingredient you wanna stay away from and look for on ingredient list of any products that you're buying for this purpose. Now, in most of the world, it's been banned except for here in the United States. So until that happens, check your labels. So the first spot correcting formula I wanna to talk to you about is Simple Beauty's Dark Spot Corrector. It is a product that has kojic acid, vitamin E, and a water and glycerin base. It also contains the niacinamide that I was talking about earlier, which makes this a really great formulation that's fairly gentle and gonna work for a lot of people. It also has the water and glycerin base that I was talking about. So this is gonna be a spot corrector that's gonna work over time. You're not gonna see instant results, but it's very solid formulation here that's not gonna be irritating and be used by most skin types. The next product I wanna to talk to you about is Dr. Gross's Clinical Grade Dark Spot Corrector. This particular formulation is very strong and very potent. I guess that's really the same thing. Anyway, it has three different acids in the formulation. It has the kojic acid, L-ascorbic acid, which is of course vitamin C, like in a vitamin C serum. And it also has lactic acid, which is an AHA. So this is a very acid formulation. This is not gonna be a product that can be used by just anyone. If you have sensitive skin, not a good choice. However, it is also going to be the fastest working product of the products I'm talking about today because of the potency. This is gonna to begin to fade dark marks, acne marks, freckles within the first week to 10 days you're going to notice a difference simply because of the strength of the formulation so again not a great choice if you have super sensitive skin now the next product that i want to talk to you guys about you can use if you have sensitive skin it is formulated for all skin types and that's Meloderm. Now this is a skin lightening or brightening formula that has 10 ingredients in it, including the kojic acid, niacinamide and alpha arbutin and these particular ingredients are going to help lighten and brighten the skin's texture and tone. It also contains bearberry and other organic and botanical lightening ingredients. This makes it a very powerful antioxidant driven formulation, but it should still be very gentle to the skin because it again is in a water and glycerin base formulation. Now this product is formulated and indicated for all sorts of dark spots, acne marks, acne scarring, 
damage to the skin that's healed and left that dark area that we talked about. You can use it on your underarms, your knuckles, your elbows, your knees, anywhere that you have a gathering of melanin and darker patchy skin, including melasma. So this is a really great all around product. It's not cheap, it's fairly expensive, but it does work. Now for you guys that have really super sensitive skin, I didn't forget about you, I never do. I do have a product that I wanna to recommend to you and it comes from Japan and it's called White Lucent Brightening Cream. It does not have any of the acids that we spoke about today in it. In fact, it uses Japanese herbs of Esteba and Sakura and it's made by Shiseido. So I will put the link to this product as well in the video description box. It is water and glycerin based as well. My only issue with it is it does have some alcohol in the formulation. Apparently not very much though, because they have a lot of sensitive skin clients, the skincare company out of Japan does, and they all rave about this skin brightening cream. So there's an alternative for you. Now again, I wanna mention that it takes time for these products to work and consistency is the key. In fact, for all the things in skincare that we could ever talk about on this channel or anywhere else, consistency is everything. The steps of getting there are the same as the steps of being there. So your routine and using products consistently, consistently is everything. Now I hope this video today helps you understand what ingredients you really need to be looking for that will be effective for dark spots and marks and also what to stay away from. Tell me in the comments below if you've used a dark spot corrector and what your experience was with it. Also let me know what your top skincare concerns are because if I haven't done a video on them I probably will. Now I'll also put the video that I told you about where I talk about how these spots form and what to do about them. I'll put it right over here. Thank you guys so much for watching, supporting the channel. You're awesome. I can't say that enough. Stay beautiful and I'll see you guys over on the next video.